What's up guys, Philip at Trade Genius. Hope you guys had a great weekend. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some key price levels for Bitcoin in the days ahead, and also take a look at some turn dates that are showing up on our model that you should look out for. So let's dive into this video. Trade Genius. Guys, really quick. Uh, the fall special pricing is still on. I'm gonna extend that for one more day, 399 on that. So if you wanna join us in the room uh, and get the crypto and binary option and ETF signals, uh, 399, they, that's for 12 months. So check that out. All right, so chart wise, let's look at this. Uh, so what I like to do at the beginning of the week is take a look at the weekly chart. And so we'll bring that up here and you'll notice we're still in like this descending wedge. So overall, this is a very bullish setup, uh, especially on ascending and descending wedges. Ascending wedges are gonna be bearish, you'll fall out of that. We saw that last week in Bitcoin. Um, and this one is just one huge gigantic one uh, that I do expect once we break out of that to basically mark the end of this current correction uh, or corrective phase. And within that, we've got these uh, two trend lines that are currently in play. So last week was, a, you know, when crypto uh, charts are 24-7, it's hard to get a true engulfing candle where the top of the candle is higher than the previous one because you don't have gaps like we've talked about with traditional markets. So uh, this is, this is going to be as close to an engulfing candle as you're going to get. Now, that's been super bearish on the previous weekly candles. And so that's, to me, the number one issue with with t this week's action. Um, you saw it, every time you've seen that, you see it here, and you've got one here, and you've got one here, they all marked the start of a rollover. Um, <clears throat> so, and as you can see, the, the next week candle shows some signs of life, right? That, you know, there's a, there's a wick here, means price did go up there for the first couple of days or so at some point during the week and then rolled over. Same with this one, there's a little wick here and it rolls over and same here. So if this does the same thing, then that's we're putting in that little wick right now and we could see some more follow through to the downside. Now, <clears throat> what's important to note about the levels that we're at is that, and we can see this better on the daily chart, is we do have a decent level of uh, volume support in this area. So. We could see this continue to consolidate, <clears throat> excuse me. And, but you have to keep in mind, we can't ignore the fact that we do have this engulfing on the weekly and that's just been a super bear. So these prior lows are gonna be pretty important to hold this week. And so let's drill down to the daily chart. And you're gonna see that Again, we've got a lot of lot of volume support in this level. If we zoom out, you'll see the 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 risk again here, guys, is that we are going to run into an area. If we start breaking down below this trend line, then and this really I'm looking for this support area 5870. If we if we come down here and that breaks and we get a close below this on say like the daily, uh, this whole area here from uh, that 5870 area all the way down to we get down into like the uh, 4800 4400 area I'd be looking at this previous top here we can draw a horizontal line here at uh, around 4948 to be the first stop but you got to keep in mind you have this huge volume void here and when you have that that just means prior price didn't spend a lot of time there so there's not going to be a lot of people uh, supporting that level and you can see rather quick moves through that so that's still the danger we've been talking about this volume void below for a couple of weeks now i'm sure and uh you know that's that's really what we have to keep be cognizant of if you know we're taking uh stabs at the long side so going down to say the four hour chart um you know basically here uh, again bitcoin is finding support and so what it is guys is basically at this point we're consolidating and <clears throat> we have to at this point see how this is going to break up we obviously have a trend line that's um that's in play on the four hour chart 
it would be key to break above this trend line. And if I think if we do, then I think we're probably looking at again running up into the 6500 area and if that breaks out then we can look at the higher levels and we'll update that uh, later in the week on the downside these previous lows if we take out these previous lows what i'm going to be looking for guys is a swing failure meaning that we'll make we'll, we'll make a, a new low and we'll close above these prior lows so if i see that um, that's going to be a, a good risk reward entry to get long because we potentially could get a nice move here and the reason for that is because if we look at our uh, 2014 model um, what you'll notice is that <clears throat> I'm looking at these areas where we had these pivots so for the for this month we're looking at a pivot that's gonna uh, take place approximately September 12th it could be September 11th uh, but you notice that when we had a pivot date here, we had that sharp sell-off. You notice how that fell? So that was one thing that I was keen in on. What we didn't get was a higher high on this model. And normally when we this model put in higher highs or lower lows, uh, things tend to follow suit. We did not get this. We did get the structure. We did get the turn up. And we did get the, the pivot dates. Uh, so pivot dates are still hitting. And so you need to be cognizant that, again, this is market psychology, market psychology compressed because we're in a larger parabolic curve up. So uh, about September 11, September 12th. So the next 48 hours, uh, looking to see if we follow the model to get a decent move to the upside. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this uh, video, guys. Again, I think we're kind of in no man's land. Uh, Price-wise, consolidation uh, is going on here. I think... Uh, a, another dip below the 6100 level i would actually buy that i would not be afraid of that oh and the other thing too is the crypto fear and greed we've actually got another signal to go long setup and the last time we saw where we had like two real close together was back in april and if you haven't seen our video i'll post a link to it but how we like to trade that where it dips below 17 and then hooks back up but april was the last time we had a similar um, like consecutive signal, if you will. And April was you know back here, and we had this nice rip higher from around the 6,800 level up to 94, uh, actually almost peaking out to 10,000. So um, interesting, interesting stat to note there. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. And tomorrow, we're going to take a look at Ethereum talk about what's going on with that very bearish sentiment out there but um, again there's there's points in time even when things get very negative where it makes sense to step in and uh, risk reward is very good on, on certain certain trades like that so anyway guys thanks for watching I'll see you on tomorrow's video take care bye trade genius